Hello and welcome back to Uncut with KJH. I'm going to show you how when I just feel like I don't really want to do that much but I want to look healthy and awake and fresh, I focus on blush. I think blush is one of the most amazing, amazing products that you can do to sort of bring vitality to, to the face. And I'm just going to start with my SPF. This is the Hyalu B5 from the Roche Posay and I'm doing several pumps. It's glowy, it's gorgeous. I always focus on my hairline down the nose and anywhere where I get, um, you know, sun. Back of the ears and then what's left goes in the back of the hands. Um, I always have a cloth on my table to wipe my hands on. And so this is a very dewy um, SPF. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Doesn't mess in interfere with makeup. If you can get your hands on it, grab five bottles, genuinely. I'm just gonna let that settle for a second. I've got a fan always on my desk so that I can like waft things, waft, waft, waft things dry. Anywho, next I'm gonna do, while I let that dry, I'm gonna do a little bit of lip liner. This is the Nabla Lip Shaper. It's gonna be a really short and sweet video. Nabla Lip Shaper number four. And I'm just gonna use this just to, this is actually not that far off my natural lip color. It's like a two shades darker. Just do a little gentle. The reason why I kissed the back of my hand, by the way, is because the lip balm that I had on was gonna shear this down. And I think that's so important to know that lip balms will shear things down um, or skincare will shear things down. Like this glossiness on my face will shear down my foundation. So I'm gonna go heavier with foundation because of that. So the reason why I didn't go all the way up into the sides is because I like to just focus on this area for the lip. Sometimes I'll take a little here, but I'll keep it low. Cause if I bring it too high, it can give me more height in the sides, which I don't want. Um, this is the Lancome um, Multitasking Concealer Tonti Dole Ultra Wear All Over Concealer in the shade 110 or Ivory Cool. I'm not really sure. I need to actually ask the brand how their shades are marked. So we just go under there, under here, just for a little. What I love, I mean, I think for those of you that know me would know this is like a product right up my street. I love the foundation that matches this too, but this is like sort of my travel product. Like I would travel with this. I would put it in my handbag because it's a concealer and foundation in one. So I'm just putting that everywhere. I'm just sort of blending it in with my number eight brush from Spectrum Collab. I just, um... okay, so then this goes like here, around into the nose. So do you see how I left a lot of that pink that's in my cheek naturally sort of visible? Because uh, it does, well, f there's, <laughs> Makeup's hard purely because there's really not one way to do something. There's a million ways to do the same, like a lot of the same things. Um, and I think what's really important about social media and people educating with makeup is just to find the people whose voices or whose education tips click in your brain. Because at the end of the day, also style is a part of that, but at the end of the day, it's really about that. It's like that I struggled at school because I didn't find that. I didn't understand what the teachers were saying. It's like, you just got to figure out the way in which you need to be taught. And I think that um, that's what's important about social media. But back to, back to the makeup, I'm really just blending it into those areas where I've got a little bit of redness or um, tones that I want to even out. I don't really love the word discoloration because it makes it feel it sound like it's wrong. Um, I think it's beautiful that we have a lot of colors throughout our skin. I don't think there's a bad thing. Warming my hands up and just pressing away the excess under the eyes just so that it doesn't crease. But it might, and that's okay because makeup is a foreign body at the end of the day. All right, now onto the main event. This blush, blend in the jawline, don't forget that. Um, I think this is a relevant question actually that I'm just gonna pose in an answer. People always say, are you matching to the neck or the face? Now, if you match to the neck here, I probably will go lighter than what my face needs because this doesn't get sun like this gets sun. So this is definitely a shade darker than down here. Look at my teeth, um, so weird. This is definitely darker than here because this is hidden from the sun from the shadow of my jaw, unless I'm walking around like this. So I'm not really fighting to make them match. I just want there to be a seamless transition from top down, really. So I don't, um, this is from notes. Uh, note, N-O-T-E, N-O-T-T-E, they'll let you might ask. Um, so I don't really, you know, it doesn't really matter. All right, 
as long as your face matches your neck match to whatever you prefer if your neck is darker then your face might need to go darker with foundation do you know what i'm saying it's like if you wear spf sort of religiously as you should be if you whatever as you should be um you obviously your face fit your face might be darker than your neck All right let's crack on shall we your face might be lighter than your neck for fuck's sake excuse me excuse my french this is um ysl new blush balmy lip and cheek this is the shade chills this is like a glossy version of cloud paint from Glossier. And I love applying it with the number seven brush from It Cosmetics. And I smear it all into my hand. So it's like a glossy, I, I prefer this to cloud paint. I love cloud paint, it's a beautiful product. And I think that if you are a cloud paint sort of stan, then don't change. I find this a little easier to blend because it's a little bit more glossy and a little bit more waxy. Whereas cloud paint dries in a little more powdery, which therefore can sometimes break up on dry skin. Um, but like, look at the perfection in that product. I know I just sold a hundred of these in this one, this 15 second clip, but it's so freaking good. I also don't encourage you to just buy things that you don't need. I think you should buy something if you don't have something like it, or if you're just, I ran out of a color similar or, oh, I don't have a color like that, whatever. Use what you've got, use what you've got people. Um, I'm applying a little high up because I think it looks really beautiful and fresh, but do you see like how much more life that just brought into my face? Little, taking a little bit of it elsewhere because I don't like it when it feels too sort of stagnant in one place. I'm just gonna use my finger because I don't want waste to a, waste a brush. I'm putting it on the lip as well. They are so nice, they are so. I gave away a few shades that I didn't Think I was going to use and now I'm mad because it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous product okay I'm going to put powder on because I want to do a little bit of bronzer um I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury's powder but I mean is that not so fresh and lovely Charlotte Tilbury's number one just with a fluffy brush pressing it gently in those areas really reinforcing areas that you know that you might get creasing so down the sides of the nose around the mouth, under the eye, over the lid, anywhere where you know you're gonna crease powder. Only you know, um, because you know your skin. And if you don't know, just pay attention and look for it throughout the day. Anywhere you find yourself looking a bit flaky throughout the day, you might need more hydration. Anywhere where you find yourself looking dry, uh, sorry, anywhere you find yourself looking more greasy and dewy, you might need more powder. All right. So just popping that on. And then I'm gonna use that same exact brush with a bronzing powder. I'm gonna use Laguna 01 from NARS. I like using my powder brush that I used with my powder to bronze because that little bit of powder that's in there actually almost like mixes with the bronzer and then kind of creates this lighter shade of your bronzer, which I think is nice to have sort of access to, um, almost creates like a mixing medium effect, if that makes sense. Like it, that little bit of white, oh, not white, that little bit of powder pulls down the bronzer just a little. I always go under the jaw. I, know, I feel like I'm getting a little soft in that area, which I might do something about it at some point. And then you can see like where I'm turning, you can see the natural shadows appear. So I wanna go in there. I wouldn't bronze with contour, but I, I wouldn't contour with, I wouldn't bronze my face with contour products because contour products are typically gray, but I would, contour a little with bronzer because it's a bit more forgiving. So just keep that in mind. Taking a little over the lid. Okay, now that I've sort of dispersed it where I want it to be, I'm gonna just blend a little bit more furiously now, but still soft. Furious, I mean like, I mean like speedy. So this is like a good sort of going to the beach, but you don't wanna, you know, look like you've got loads of foundation on. You really wanna reinforce that into the hairline there. Um, but it's just a nice sort of fresh look to... Hi, love. I'm just making YouTubes. Um, a little bit there. And then that's kind of it. I do actually want to use this a little bit more. The density of this brush is going to allow for my hairline to be a little bit more blended. Okay, great. And then just some mascara. And then I've got like a perfect sort of daytime makeup look. Not much makeup, just like the sort of the bare, the bare essentials, essentially. A little bit of Tower 28 on there. And 
just fanning them out. If you want mascara to look really barely there, just use your fingertip and just lift some of the excess away. Um, and that extra is now on your finger. And if they went a little clumpy, just comb through. You know when you finish a mascara wand, when you finish a mascara tube, wash this like with soap, like literally Dial or Dawn or whatever it's called, the dish soap, wash it, get everything out and then reuse it. And you can use it as a brow brush. You can use it as a one to clean through your lashes after you put on your mascara. Don't, um, don't waste these. You can also, I think, give them to wildlife centers to clean the, the eyes around, to clean, I forgot what it was. There was like mascara spoolie donations to um, different organizations that were using them to help clean the animals or something, I can't remember. Um, I'm so sure some of you will know and write that in the comments of what it was, because you're great. How do you find this series? Do you love KJH, Uncut with KJH? Or are you like, eh, it's boring, I want something new? Please tell me. Okay. Great. The last little step, just to make everything look fresh, and I think one of my favorite summer makeup tips is freckles. A um, little bit there. 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 And then I'll go in around the nose and do a few, and then immediately transfer them to become multiples. So it gives me like more of a you got to press them always. This is Nabla. Um, but even, do you see then it looked like it was going to be messy? It just added to it. And then... Done. Cute. Fresh. Here's what it looks like close up. I think one little thing that I actually want to do, just to add longevity to this. I think that it's important to show you sort of how I would make this last longer, especially in the blush, because that blush is du is very juicy and dewy. I'm going to add a little bit of um, the Armani powder blush. This is the shade 51, just over the top, just there. All right. And then this blush, nope. I'm kind of showing you bad habits here, which I feel bad for, but it, you know, this had cream in it. This had gloss in it, which isn't really transferring now because I didn't have that much in there, but that texture in this brush could have smeared and made my powder blush that I just applied patchy. It didn't, um, but I'm kind of, I've got to go for a quick coffee meeting right now. So I'm sort of rushing a little bit, but um, if you are very delicate with your pressure, you'll find that your brushes don't create you problems. So you can literally go in with a creamy brush, brush that had cream in it, to a brush that, to, to a powder product, if you are super, super delicate. That said, the product can't be soiled in the brush, otherwise, yes, it will be weird. Although, that said, there's that video right now that I feel like I should try just as a trend to see if it works. We put setting powder underneath your foundation and it gives you the most flawless base ever. I know it's probably not gonna be something that feels very nice on the face, but hey, each to their own. Here's my little tray of products, the little tray of heroes. We're gonna write this down and link them all in the thingy below. The thingy below actually is um, in the cap in the in the description box is um, all of the products listed and linked that some of them uh, are affiliates. Um, and actually, if you're a creator yourself, you should definitely join ShopMy. It's an amazing affiliate platform. I'm so 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 excited to have been an advisor for them. Um, at least back in the day, I feel like they they've got it all figured out now, and they're amazing. The team over there, um, Harry, Chris, and Tiffany are close friends and they are just epic and I I'm so so happy to support them and they support me back so that's how it goes isn't it it's like you have these mentors in the industry I'm rambling you have mentors in the industry and you sort of help one another and I think that's beautiful like Amy from Tower 28 she mentors me on my brand and therefore I help her with product development and stuff and consult here and there so it's great I love it. I'm very excited. I'm very happy. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'll be back. Um, I'm going to go get a quick coffee um, and um, pop any requests below for any more YouTubes. All right, bye.